champion Nobthorn, a big tree towards the right. It almost looks like a mountain in front of the sun there. If you look here quickly, at, it's so solid. You don't see any light coming through that cloud layer. So, whoever that might be, a little bit in the distance, but it certainly looks like some thick cloud. You've got the two of the big mains, which Leonidas has got a slightly slightly fuller main than, than Shaka. And then the, the fifth one, which you've only seen, I've only seen him once. He's got that very big black mane. He's got a very white front part of the sort of muzzle nose area. I started thinking of his black beard, but he doesn't come up here very often. Try and get a better view here. Also show you why these lines are here. But we got excited because um, I think we've got a good chance we might see them this afternoon and maybe even tomorrow morning as well. Interesting, they're slightly moving off. I thought maybe because of us, but not really. It's just moving off because they want to. Look at this, huh? Covered all the intestine content that's covered with grass and mud. And that's something that lions do. Face. What a fantastic surprise, the idea that they were even in the area. Oh, to see this line in the open, but the way he looks, the way he stares at us, the way his eyes are. That was the first one I'd ever seen of the Mapokos. We'll try and have another look at him just now. Let's just show you here on our left hand side is the buffalo. There's still a large amount of meat left. It looks like he's eaten quite a bit of the hindquarters. But what's very interesting is just in the foreground here, well, let's have a look at the face quickly. This was probably yesterday afternoon or early evening even that this happened. Oh, imagine, it's a big buff. It doesn't look like he's unhealthy in any way or sick in any way. It was a big male, a dugger boy, for some reason maybe just by himself. And of course, the poor lions are a force to be reckoned with, even above and beyond the lions. So uh, it must have been... Imagine a big animal like that getting taken down by these lions. Look at this in the foreground. I'm almost have to go and stand next to you right here. But that's probably about two and a half three feet tall, that mound. Now it is fairly common for both parts of the carcass, to intestines, and just because of the mention of other animals like hyenas and so on. But I've never seen it to this extent. This is a huge mound. This might have taken would have taken them a while just to kick that amount of sand blood over it. Look at that. I'll spot it. I mean, good tracker as well, huh? Look at that. Using those proper claws to kick that sand. Struggling a little bit to signal as well, but uh, also at the same time, let's try and get a bit of these lines. They've got some very, very tricky stuff there. Uh, and I think we really want to take the vehicle into. But, uh, ah, what an awesome, awesome surprise! This is very, very good. Got it. Nice slow movements, yeah, these lines. Uh, Get a view of him, yeah. It's a perfect gap there, Alex. Get him. Look at that face. I do wish that we could see these lions on a more regular basis, really get to know them. They are truly fascinating characters, spectacular lions. Just looking at this male again, just look at those eyes. I've seen a lot of impressive lions, and these ones are fast becoming maybe the most impressive. Two males that I 
got to know in my early days of guiding in Pilansburg, the Hamburg males were spectacular lines, 260 kilograms, huge, I mean, literally 260 kilograms is, is, at that stage he was one of the heaviest lions ever weighed, but these guys certainly, the fierceness and wildness and, and almost the challenge in their eyes, I really, really like that. Beautiful cats. Just looking at us, it's that cold hard stare of a male lion. other two I can just see actually from the camera you probably won't be able to see them they're right in the back there very very thick bush on the edge of this drainage line I have to wait a little bit before we can see some of them walk over to that buffalo carcass and we go cut ourselves a piece of steak from it <laughs> and we see what happens I tell you what I'll get on the camera and you do it um. No, oh, you can stand camera, you better. Yeah, I'll, I'll be careful. You should do it. That would certainly be to the car. Right? <laughs> that would certainly be an interesting thing to do. These lions, even though I'm sure when you walk into them and foot, they'll react to you as a human, and they'll be wary of you. But uh, obviously, not something you fun here. But I do find it very, very exciting being around these lions. Just the whole energy, the whole feel you get from them. Very, very cool. Let's go a little bit forward, Alex. I think there's another gap. Just pass a little num num bush maybe for you. You right there like that, eh? Yeah. It's nice slow movements. This guy's still very alert to us. Or aware of us. And get through there. Let's see. Maybe through there. Where? Through there. Once you're on it, I'll just move slightly. Where is he? Oh, where's the line? You can see him there. Yeah, I see the line. <laughs> <laughs> Just with the camera, it's uh, up a bit. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very tricky. Go right a little bit, right a little bit, right, right, right. Small movements, left, 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 left. Okay, go in. There you go. Okay, now roll a little bit. There. Bingo. Spartans, Mapocho males. This is most of what these males will be doing now the rest of the day. They've got a belly full of food. Really full of food. I mean, they've got probably 30 or 40 kilograms. I'm talking about 80 pounds or so of meat inside their stomachs. So, not much else for them to worry about. They will drink maybe in the early hours of the morning judging by those tracks we saw so um, they've got water close by, they've got a whole buffalo to eat between the three of them if they don't have any of the other males joining they could be they could be feeding on this for another two days easily so the rest of the time they can take it easy chill out a little bit, lie around digest, get strong because uh, like males typically do, dominant males, they need to move a lot these Mapojos again, they've got slightly, almost like extra special circumstances. They've got a huge area that they've got to move through now. They've got lots of females that they've mated with over the last while. And like, uh, as I say, it comes with the territory. If you have a big, large area and you're the male lions, you need to keep at it. You can't just sit back and say, okay, well, we've done our work now. We can just watch the corn grow. If your other males don't come in and attack your females, hurt the cubs, like we often said, as much as these lions were maybe not that loved in the beginning because of their impact on the area, I mean the Sabi Sands area in general, you have to keep in mind also that the young produced from this genetically, apart from being genetically very strong and sound, they've got the Mapojos looking after them now. So as much as the Pojos cause the demise of other youngsters, the growth and the flourishing, if you want, of, of their own offspring.